Um, so it's now my pleasure to, to welcome the first of our two keynote speakers. Um, we're very grateful to have with us today Dr. Abdullah Salim al Kateri, who's the Director General uh, of the Federal Transport Agency Land and Marine Division. Uh, you know, he's had a, a, a very illustrious 30-year career in the, in the business where he's played a key leadership role, um, undertaking some important strategic planning functions during his time with the authority. In particular, he's been heavily involved in developing the National Transport Plan, but also uh, taking place, taking a, a key role at a GCC level in, in formulating rules and regulations and, and, and strategic policy. So we're very fortunate to have with him, and we're, I'm sure we're all very interested to hear what he has to say. So I'd like to welcome on, on stage now um, Dr. Ab Abdullah Salim al Katiri. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm going to talk to you about the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar, -Rahman ar -Rahim. والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده في البداية راح أقول كلمتين بالعربي والجماعة طالبين الكلمة تكون بالإنجليزي ف for those English speaking will the speech will be in English so I'll just say a couple of words in Arabic فالحقيقة أنا أرحب بأخي الدكتور علي سفيرنا في جمهورية الصين ورحب بالجميع طبعا كل المشاركين وزملائي من القطاعات أصحاب السعادة والمدراء والمشاركين وكانت مفاجأة طيبة أن نشوف علي فمهما كانت يعني ارتباطاتها الحالية في الدبلوماسية وفي العمل الدبلوماسي لكن أعتقد أن الأخ علي ما زالت في في كل الأمور البحرية ما أخذها معه وين ما يروح يعني حتى فإحنا سعيدين اليوم بتواجده معنا. Good morning everyone, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I'm privileged and grateful to take part in the Maritime Standard Ship Finance and Trade Conference to highlight the opportunities that exist in the region for using proper financial tools in international investment community to uh, stimulate maritime trade, shipping, industry uh, activities to maximize the economic benefits from maritime sectors. This event coming in, in line with the vision of our wise leaders to shape the country's future towards adopting a new framework and technological innovation such as artificial intelligence and enhance our present and future life for existing and next generation, including maritime transportation, the Federal Transport Authority, FTA, is doing its utmost efforts to enhance collaboration among all stakeholders in the, in the maritime uh, industry to look into the best framework to provide shipping and trade professionals with the opportunity to create dialogue with the decision makers presenting the influential firms and names into the industry including regional trade patterns, ship finance, and ports and shipping for the future development and improve business environment and definitely the capability for maritime transport 
industry. And enabling, enabling it to deliver competitive financial solution for shipping, ports, and associated services. Distinguished participant, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to highlight some areas related to the rapid development in the UAE's maritime transportation activities. Activities that has paved the way for the UAE confidently to, to claim its most deserved position as one of the world's leading maritime hubs, which drives the country to maintain its involvement and active role at the IMO and other international maritime platforms. As may you know, that the UAE has been submitted its candid candidation for we are candidates for the IMO Council in view of the UAE's increasing role in maritime transport industry and the importance of its presence in the, in the Council of the organization for the membership in the IMO Council. We are applying for Category B in the election to be held during the 30th Ordinary General Assembly during the period from the 27th of this month to the, until the 6th of December 2017. United Arab Emirates hopes to receive the support of all IMO member state. Through you, our distinguished participant here today. In 2015, the FTA embarked on the process of a comprehensive development for the maritime sector. This initiative is to respond to the growing role of the maritime transport industry in the UAE and implement the FTA strategic goal, regulate the maritime transport sector, and enhance the competitiveness. The main objective of the, this initiative is to prepare the sector to scope with the new trends in maritime industry, including updating legislation, to promote investment and in shipping development condition and uh, incentive for the ship regulator regulation under the UAE flag, in addition to create more protection tools for the investment capitals to, to inject into the shipping and ports with the vision to give all incentive given to any similar industry and marine to furnish attainable maritime uh, insurance and implement international standard related to the maritime safety, security, and marine environment protection by ensuring that each link in the chain of the responsibility fully meets its obligation and this is a priority for the maritime community as a whole. Flagboard and coastal states, ship owners, stakeholders, all have an important role to play in implementing, maintaining and raising the standards of shipping and ships. Port 
interfacing activities in addition to maximize the investment opportunity uh, available in the, in the sector and consequences increase maritime sector contribution and the nation economy. Moreover, we strongly believe that banking and credit agencies now have an increased involvement in shipping related finance. It's been uh, by banks as an invaluable mitigate to capital allocation, a heavy capital incentive sector, and overall debt structures. As we believe in coordination with partners through all financial investment resources chain to identify structures and execute financing solution for shipping and offshore, and create capabilities enabling enable to access variety of traditional and alternative funding sources, including capital markets, the bank loan syndication market. This flexibility ensures that funding can be secured regardless of revealing market condition taking into account the emergence of a new opportunities for finance, for financing the maritime industry in areas such as liquefied natural gas, transportation, and bankering, container shipping, and digitizing related to the maritime and ports. Related to maritime and ports, logistics services, more important financing the technology needed to, to, to co-op with the BWM convention requirement. I apologize for having a long speech this morning, but in the end, definitely I would like to thank Trevor and his team and all the Maritime Standard group for uh, arranging this wonderful gathering this morning. I think it's, it will be a successful one, and I'm sure we will have a lot of recommendation result in the importance of this conference. And uh, we would like to welcome everyone to our beautiful capital for those who are coming from outside. And I hope that Trevor and his guys will you will meet the expectation that you come with, but they will not keep you busy for not having time a little bit to see the city. So enjoy the rest of the, of the morning, and once again, thank you so much. Thank you, Your Excellency, and thank you for setting the, the tone for this event. Um, we heard a sort of call there for cooperation amongst different stakeholders, and I think that's a theme that will be returned to on a number of occasions.